the reason I chose Acadian Step Dance is because I really love it. I really like to show who I am and I'm proud to be Acadian and I like to show it off to other people. Woo! That was amazing. That was absolutely incredible. Brilliant. Good. So let's cut. My name is Janelle Kamo and we're at the Din de Buktosh. My name is Monet Boudreau and I'm at the Din de Buktosh. I got involved in Acadian step dancing at a very young age. I started step dancing myself around the age of four. And then uh, eventually uh, Anne-Marie Kamo, uh, who is the founder of the Bayon Hour, uh, asked me to be part of the troupe. I think when we've asked the girls uh, over the years why they choose this instead of hip hop or jazz or contemporary dance, uh, it's a way for them to honor their Acadian culture and to, to kind of give back to their community and represent their community uh, across the world. So that's been, it's been a kind of a catalyst for them to, to travel the world and share their culture. So, and they like making the noise with their feet, like it's, it's, it's strength and and, and being together with a group and, and sharing, just sharing their culture. That whole feel of groups working together in unison, like working together as one body, as a team, um, I think is a lot of fun for them. They get to lose themselves in that, but they get to put a little bit of individual flair as well. Initially, um, in very Catholic Acadian communities, um, the notion of fun and partying was something that you kind of kept under wraps. So Acadians uh, figured out a way to still have fun, so they used items that were at their disposal that you know weren't forbidden, and, and bones from the animals or, or spoons um, were used to keep time uh, so that people could dance um, and enjoy themselves and have fun, because we like to have fun. And we also have a dance that they do sitting down. So they just tap with their feet because they didn't want people to see. So if people passed by the windows, it was just a bunch of people sitting down having a conversation. 